in the garage. We're about to jack it up with some jack stands because today we are going to be installing. Oh, it's right here. We are going to be installing a trans cooler on it. Every time I race, the trans gets hot, hot to the point that it hits, I believe it's 210 to 215. And after that, these 10 r 80s can't be racing them because they're a little too hot. They'll start slipping or whatever the case may be. But we are gonna be installing a trans cooler on it. And as well, now I do wanna say shout out to JR Fab. He does sell them in his website as well. He hooked it up. He said, I'm gonna go ahead and sponsor you with the trans cooler. So he hooked it up with that. The other sponsor that I wanna mention on this video and thank you for the opportunity of testing out your product is called protouringstore.com went ahead and hooked it up with the block for the 10 or 80 this is how it looks those two things connect to the trans cooler there's a screw that holds it in place and i think it sets it's going like that you'll see it on the down there whenever we install it but this, this is a pretty solid piece metal piece like i said shout out to you guys thank you so much if you want to pick up one of those the link is going to be in the description below if you call just tell them Oscar went ahead and sent you over there. And yeah guys, so let's start running the lines, do the AN fittings. I went ahead and tried it out. So this is how it looks, the AN fitting. You connect it, boom, right there. And then the other one will go straight to the trans cooler. So yeah guys, and also I got Jessica side steps from that truck right there. They are for sale, so go ahead and hit me up if you want them as well so they are for sale so yeah guys let's get started on this video and also before we actually start on everything i do want to mention i am going to be twin turboing this truck i do got some parts here that i'm going to show the whole kit and see what's missing so i can start ordering parts and we'll get into that a little bit later on the video so let's jack up the truck and start working on these lines so let's go Okay, as you can see, this is the screw that we'll be taking off right here. Taking that piece off, this whole thing comes off and I believe there's two lines running that way. Let's start off by taking this bolt off and see from there. Before we start working on the trans cooler, let me set up another, the second line which is in here and add one of these fittings because I was thinking of cutting this one in half but I doubt it is gonna fit all the way. So I'm gonna take one of these off and put it on the other one and put it straight or just wait when I install that one. I'll put both, I'll connect both lines and then run it all the way to the front to see how far I should cut it. So yeah guys. And if you can see this one has a reducer on it. So I guess it's a six reducer to an eight, if I'm not mistaken. Because these are eight eight AN lines. Yeah, you see? Okay, so let me work on this line and take this piece off. So let's go. Now that I think about it, as soon as I connect that and connect this to run the lines, I need to take them off again and cut it off and then put these AN fittings back on, on this, on the other end. Okay. So it does come with these little gaskets on the thing. So I'm, I'm not really quite sure if it needs it. Let me just double check. Oh no, it does not. So the part does come with its own pieces. So those you'll have to be removing off and they have to look clean. So I'll show you right now. Just give me a second. This is gonna be connected like this. So you see the two right here and the two holes over there. So let's just connect them. Like they right here. Boom, there you go. And they should be secured. Quickest, quickest mod ever. So you can keep your trance low. And I'm letting this drain out. I am gonna refill it with new oil. So yeah, let's install the screw. Should be with a factory fitting. I mean factory screw. There you go. And let's start installing it. I mean, let's start screwing it back on. 
Okay guys, that's how it looks right there. It's finally installed. I am gonna be dropping down this thing right here, which is the old trans cooler, so I can get to that other fitting right there, then run the line straight. So let's go do that. So we're now back to installing the lines and I have a 90 and I have one slightly angled. So this one goes first and then this one. So let's do that. So that's how they look. Now I'm gonna run them all the way to the front and see how much line I gotta cut. So as you can see, there you run it like that. I'm gonna put some zip ties right here to hold these in place. Make it look nice and neat. So yeah, I had to drop this little thing on, shield it off. Then I'm gonna just tack it back on. We'll put it back on. So let's do that. Let's work up to the front. Now I'm gonna run that all the way to right here. And that's where the trans cooler is gonna be at. So let's do that. Oh wait, no, the top one. Not that one. It goes right here. So two bolts straight on tap screws. And there's the trans cooler right there. So let me just test fit it and start screwing it on. And here are the lines right here. They're, they're not interfering with nothing right there. I just, I double checked. So yeah, they're gonna be straight pointing down. So yeah, let's do that. Guys, I just tapped one of the sides. It's right there. So let me hook this thing up and tap the second one, the second screw, which is like somewhere around here. Whenever I place the trans cooler to move it more to the right side, well, facing, looking at the truck to the right side, because one of the one of the charge pipes is gonna be right here. So if anything, I could just move it around. It doesn't really matter. That's for the meantime. I went ahead and added on the other end, the other AN fitting. So on this one, I did an angle on both. I'm not sure what kind of angle that is, or uh, it's probably like a 45 degree angle. And this one is a 90 on both. So the pretty side goes in the front and the ugly side goes in the back. Guys, I went ahead and added the fittings on them, tying them up and yeah. So let's start adding the liquid. You can see from right here, you can see the intercooler. I mean, not the intercooler, the transcooler. And yeah, let's start working off, taking off that other transcooler that you see right there. And yeah. All right, guys, quick update. I went ahead and took off all those lines. I just thought about it, but I went ahead and took off all those lines and cut them short to this point. And from there, shout out to Woody. He went ahead and told me, hey, I'm not gonna need the U. You can use it if you want it. For right now, it's right here, so it won't hit the belt or anything like that, but don't you worry, guys. I'm trying to figure out a way. But I went ahead and cut these two lines so this can be the OEM fittings because I, I didn't know what those fittings were. And I wrapped the U around. There's no leaks whatsoever. And yeah, there's no leaks. And I have not seen it on YouTube how to fucking take this thing off. So yeah, the coolant. These are the two lines for the transmission line and there's a coolant, right, coolant port right here. The other one on the other side. So yeah, this is how to take this piece off. And plus it's not that heavy, but I mean, just a little bit of lightweight. So yeah, that's how to take that off. And like I said, nobody talks about this on YouTube or I have not seen a YouTube channel how to take that off. Now I showed you how to take that off and how to remove the intercooler. So if you want to do it yourself and you don't just want to leave it there, I know I was tied up. I had this planned out that I wanted to record all this a while ago, but I was debating on how to do this. So yeah, just a little bit of thinking and you'll be able to achieve it. I'm done. I was recording with the iPhone because my camera turned off, but I'm about to turn it on. <laughs> it's a cold start late in the day. All right guys, looks like everything's good. Let's go test drive it and yeah, let's go see. Everything looks like to be working a-okay. You see the temps right now. I mean, I'm driving it barely. All right guys, I just thought about something else. Let me do at least a pull or two and test that out, see if nothing's leaking. Right now we're still at 104. The thing is still cold, cold. It's pretty much working. And I touched the trans cooler and the trans cooler seems to be working because it was kind of hotish. Not as much, but yeah, it is doing its job. So everything was connected correctly. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, you know what that means. We can do a little bit more pools. But, I don't think we're going to be running NA anymore. I do have a whole turbo kit that we'll be installing on this truck. That was what I was going to do the video next video for. So, everything seems to be looking okay. Nothing's overheating. The trans is at 118. I'll just show you. Let me see. The trans is at 118. It has not gone up from 118, so it looks like everything looks good. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be running NA anymore. Now, as far as my headers and all that sort of stuff, I am going to be selling it. If, if you're looking for headers, well, pretty much the whole setup, like I'm saying, I think I have the headers and the RAM air intake. So if you want to try to run a whole NA setup, just like how I would do, it is for sale. So hit me up and no leaks. Like I said, hit me up if you're looking for that. Those parts, they are going to be up for sale. Comment down below or send me, shoot me a message on Instagram. And yeah, guys. Like I said, I have a whole turbo kit. So I'll show you right there. Let's turn on the garage and give you a sneak peek. Damn. 